So guys, last Saturday, I was on my way to Chapel Hill. I was just really hungry. I hadn't eaten all day. And I decided that I wanted to stop and get a grilled cheese because grilled cheeses are very good. And so I pull into the Sonic. I didn't know what it was. And I drive up and I decided I wanted a grilled cheese because grilled cheeses are still amazing. And I got out of my car because I wanted to just get up and walk around. And I saw a dead bird. And <laughs> this brought it back is so important to you because <laughs> and it was wrapped in and so I picked up the dead bird and wrapped it in this and brought it to the hospital. And the bird was totally fine. It just had a broken wing. And so after the hospital I kept the bag because it was just so important to me that I oh. saved a dead bird, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you may be wondering why I carry around this paintbrush. Well, it is very important to me because my grandfather painted his enemies red in World War II. Actually, what happened is uh, he got shot in the arm and this man came up to him and was like, you know, you are on the enemy team, but I'll save you anyways. So what he did is he took this, painted him red, made him look like one of their own guys, and... Drag, drug them to a hospital on their own side. So then, what happened is he actually killed the man with this paintbrush. Because, um, well, for some reason he stabbed him. And um, so after he was fine, he uh, dressed up in the man's clothes and became a spy. And so then what he did is he actually got information. And the, that's the reason why uh, we ended up winning World War II. Alrighty, my parents died on a sad Wednesday night, <laughs> and I went to their funeral, and I had this handkerchief, and I just had to blow my nose because I was so crying, and, um, yeah. <laughs> that, Kleenex, that, that Kleenex is what? It's, it's very important to me because it um, helped me through the hard times of my parents' loss. Oh, where do you keep it? Oh, I keep it right here in my pocket, all times. Oh, really? All times, yes, all times. And have you ever actually washed it in the washer? No. Oh, that's so good. No, how how come not. you haven't done that? Oh, just because I always take it out. And then I just keep it next to me. Every you time do... I go to bed, I put it right next to my shoulder and sleep with it. And what do you think about when you look at it? <laughs> oh, I just think, wow, what a great tissue. Oh. Okay. I have many very important objects, but this hat is probably the most important thing I own because it was owned by my great, great, great grandma. She made it far, far away in the land of... Germany when they were really low on all sorts of wool. So she went and she got all the leftovers she could find and turned it into little short spurts of yarns that she dyed many different colors and made this beautiful hat with. Some stick, some thin. She wore it everywhere, even though it was slightly too small on her. It would just stick up a little bit. Later, she passed it down to all her family members until it was passed down to me. And to this day, I carry it around and wear it every day, even when it's not cold outside. I try to <laughs> <in> my head. <laughs> and that is why this hat is very important.